No, I think that there, you know, is a lot of controversy and a lot of conversation around um, the proliferation of, you know, English as the the language of the internet, and I think you see a lot of that in. Um, you know, uh, scholarly publications. That's why I think it's incredibly important not just to think about, you know, the organizations that have, you know, power within uh, the internet or over the internet, but also thinking about how do we drive local innovation by involving local communities and making sure that people in local communities actually have the skills to make meaningful use of the internet. And that, for me, translates into becoming technology entrepreneurs Unless people are skilled and unless they have access to the internet, it's really, really hard to build local, local solutions and allow them to prosper in a local environment. So I look at it and think 49% of the world is offline. If 49% of the world is offline, how do, you, you know, how do you build a more inclusive internet? How do you build a more you know, meaningful internet? The same thing goes for you know, the internet being exponentially you know, impacted by women or girls not using the internet. Again, if you don't have access, you don't have skills, you're not going to drive a more meaningful internet.